Hello everybody, Drailar here. Welcome to the video version of setting up a mod development environment for the Fabric Wiki. Today we're just going to be looking at setting up your Minecraft mod for the first time, getting it to run, uh, following the steps in the wiki, and just going over some extra things that might happen and how you can fix them. So here I'm on the Fabric Wiki page, setting up a mod development environment of course. I also have the Fabric Example Mod GitHub repository up. You'll need both of these uh, to work through this. Over here, I have IntelliJ. I am going to be using IntelliJ. If you're using VS Code or Eclipse, you can certainly follow along. I would not recommend it. I would just look at the text tutorial or find another video because a lot of the things here will be specific to IntelliJ. But to start off, I'm just going to check out from version control, choose Git. I'm going to copy the link to the fabric example mod. Um, I'll call it wiki mod. We're going to clone it. Open it as a Gradle project. It might prompt you bottom right to import it. If it does, choose yes, import this as a Gradle project or auto import, whatever pops up. So now what it's doing is it's looking at our build.gradle file and it's grabbing the dependencies for our project, which is Minecraft, um, Yarn for mapping, and the Fabric Loader, of course, to run the game, as well as Fabric API. All right, Gradle just finished. And if you have looked in the build.gradle file or were looking when I was there, you'll see these uh, Minecraft version kind of variable-like lines. And that simply refers to what's in their settings.gradle file. Oops, not that. I meant gradle.properties. And here we just have the versions used by our build.gradle. So we're working on 1.14.4, um, API 200. And let's get into setting up our project now. Just to explain a little bit, fabric.mod.json is like an overview of our mod. It includes the name of our mod, a description, links to where the project is, and it also defines things like where's our main class to start the mod. Modid.mixins.json is how we define mixins. So we have our mixins folder here. We have a package line that references this folder. And then, as you can see, a mixin was added to this block, and that refers to this class right here. So, I'm going to open build.gradle and fabricmod.json. So your mod ID is a short descriptor of your mod. It has no spaces, ideally no dashes or underscores. Um, if you think of in-game, when you do slash give, and you have Minecraft colon, like for example, Minecraft dirt. Minecraft in this case is the namespace, or your mod ID. So for this, I'm going to be doing my mod. That seems to be a popular <laughs> namespace for tutorials. Our version is just going to be 1.0. Our name will be my awesome mod. Author, you can change any of this if you want. What we're going to do now is set up our package structure to be relevant to what you're doing. So in my case, I'm going to rename it to com.github.drailer, which is my GitHub URL back. And I use this for most projects. If you have a website, usually you'd use the URL backwards. Um, those of you who have done Java before, you're probably familiar with this. Choose whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. What does matter is that we um, add those changes over here. So our entry point is our example mod class. So I'm going to change that to com.github.trailer.examplemod. And then in the mixins.json uh, file as well com.github.trailer.mixin. I am going to just remove the mixin. That's more an advanced topic that we're not going to get to right now. 
Uh, then I'm going to rename the mod class to my mod and change it here. And then build.gradle as well. You can change stuff in here. Uh, there should be a line somewhere with the project name and whatever. Yes, here we go. Maven group com.github.drailar archives base name is basically your mod ID, so I'm going to do my mod. That's basically all we need. This is our main mod class, as I mentioned before. We have an initialize method, which is run uh, like sometime when Minecraft is running during the beginning, about five seconds into when you start the game, this is called. And it is where you should do all of your registering items and stuff. And all we have is a simple print line that will print once the game is started. But to start the game, we need run configurations. So to do that, I'm going to go over to Gradle on the right. I'm going to go Tasks, um, Other. It might be in Fabric, depending on what version you have. And then we're looking for this Gen Sources task. And to briefly explain why we need to do this, when Mojang ships Minecraft code, all of the code is scrambled up and it's named oddly so that you can't just copy their code and you know rejar it and send it off. They make it difficult for you to do that. So we have mapping softwares where we guess the names of certain fields and objects and variables and so to use those names we have to run gen sources to get the source file so we can attach it to our Minecraft jar. Uh, kind of a bad explanation. Basically it makes names in the Minecraft source code make sense. And this usually takes two to three minutes depending on how good your computer is. So I'll be back once this is done. All right, Gen Sources has finished. It took two minutes and 19 seconds. Uh, if you get any prompts bottom right again for Gradle, I just enable auto import. Other than that, we should now have a run task, top right, Minecraft client and Minecraft server. You can probably guess what they do. In most cases, you'll have this little red X above the icon next to the run task, and that's because we have to set the module for it. So you're going to click uh, the run task button, you're going to do edit configurations, make sure you're already on the Minecraft client uh, run config, and then come down here, use class path of module, and we're going to change it to main. And then apply, and OK, and now we can just hit run. Right here, we're just going to be looking for our print statement to make sure our mod is working. We printed Hello Fabric World, and as you can see, Hello Fabric World. So we know our mod's working. Pretty awesome. We've booted into the game. We're on Fabric 1.14.4, and that's it. Your mod's now working. In the next tutorials, we'll look at adding a basic item, adding a block, adding some other cool stuff. So I'll see you then.